Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. As animal lovers, it seems we never get enough cute videos, photos, and interesting facts about the furry ones that make us turn into puddles. Dogs, in this case, are astounding, even just from the starting point of them being descendants from wolves. Our most loyal pups have some seriously gorgeous and wild ancestors. Now what's left are big adorable eyes and all the cuteness of the cub without the viciousness of the alpha. Think you know all there is to know about your pup? Think again. Let's see how little you knew about our canine friends after watching the top 10 facts about dogs you didn't know. But before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and in the comments section, tell us other interesting facts about dogs or which fact we listed that you found the most interesting. Number 10, wet noses. The cold wet noses we grow to love on dogs actually have a good reason for existing. The wetness helps them keep that hyper accurate sense of smell that rescues us from debris, sniffs out drugs and luggage, and overall tells us when something is not quite right. Their nose secretes mucus that allows them to absorb those scent chemicals, and then they lick their nose to sample those chemicals, all leading to a diagnosis of, what is this weird smell? Number 9. Baywatch Featuring Newfoundlands Somewhere in my imagination is a version of Baywatch in which Newfoundlands run the game, and it's not far off from reality. Well, not that there's a dog version, but maybe they could be featured on a future version of the hit show since this breed of dog has a water-resistant coat and webbed feet, perfect for staying afloat and swimming. They were actually bred to help fishermen and to rescue people who accidentally fell overboard. Number 8. The Beatles Sang For Them In 2013, Paul McCartney stated that while making A Day in the Life, he added a frequency that only dogs could hear. If you're a musician who has conquered the pop world the way the Beatles did, the only plausible next step is to try to conquer the dog world, in my opinion. They are not the most forgiving judges. Who am I kidding? They're the best. Next time you play the song, keep an eye on the dogs around you and see if they're enjoying those notes written just for them. Number 7. Smell Evidence we know all dogs have better senses of smell than we do, but one specific breed is so on the nose, pun intended, that it can be used in court as evidence. The Bloodhound has an incredible sense of smell, able to follow tracks over 300 hours old, which is about two weeks, and can stay on the trail for up to 130 miles. If you're trying to disappear, you need a heck of a head start to get away from bloodhounds. With that kind of strength, you best believe I'd take that as evidence in court. Number 6. They even yodel. At this point, there are a few things dogs can't do, and probably a few things better than us. Maybe code? But we'll just have to give it some time. Basenji dogs, for instance, don't even bark, so you don't have to train them to stop barking when the mailman comes. They're so extra, they'll actually yodel. Sometimes it's more of a scream or a whine, but on a good day, you'll get a full yodel out of them. <coughs> and if that's not the coolest thing you've heard today, then you're just impossible to impress. Number five, Greyhound versus Cheetah. Typical second grade question. Who would win in a long distance race, a greyhound or a cheetah? There's a reason why the cross country buses are named the way they are. Greyhounds would actually win. They're incredible long distance runners and can hold a high speed of 35 miles per hour for up to seven miles. I can't even finish one mile at a consistent speed. Cheetahs are faster, sure, but it can only keep it up for two to 300 yards, after which the greyhound would be right on their tails. That being said, I'd much rather be chased by a greyhound than a cheetah. There's definitely a higher chance of survival. Number 4. Dalmatians Need a Hearing Check Dalmatians, poor babies, have something called the extreme piebald gene, 
which gives them their coat and often blue eyes. Do you know what else it gives them? A 30% chance of being deaf in one ear and a 5% chance of deafness in both. Funny enough, they're so largely related, the coat and the hearing loss, that Dalmatians with larger dark patches are less likely to be deaf. Luckily, what they lack in hearing, they make up for in adorableness. Number three, triple eyelid. While in some cultures, a double eyelid is highly desirable, it turns out having three eyelids is really where it's at. Just ask dogs, who, thanks to their multiple eyelids, their eyes stay protected and lubricated. The third is called the paw, or the nictitating membrane, and most dog owners don't even notice them at all. Hey, you don't have to wake your dog up to check. The poor guy has had enough of your poking and prodding. Just take our word for it. Number two, hunters. While some dog breeds are very much for hunting, others are masters at it. You think the beagle is the perfect hunting companion? The basset hound? The dogs in that story where the red fern grows? No, no, no. The dog you need if you hunt is the African hunting dog. In fact, they're the best mammalian hunter in the Guinness Book of World Records for their 50 to 70% success rate on their hunts. Now, if only I can teach my family's bird dog to go hunt for a pizza and bring it home. Number one, black tongue. Have you ever seen a dog with a black tongue? Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with them. At least, not that we know of. Chow Chows and Sharpays. Wait, is that not a character from High School Musical? Hmm. Both have fully black tongues. Not crazy enough for you? What if we told you that science hasn't really figured out why? Now you're talking tongue color. Can I see that in my DNA test? Somebody give me some answers. Thanks for watching. So what's your favorite characteristic about a dog? Maybe even your own puppy? Let us know in the comments. Before you go, doggone it. Be sure to subscribe, click the bell, and throw us a bone by giving this video a like. Then share it with friends and family.